The next thing I'd like to do inside of our index section is to have a main element and that allows us to define the main content body. And inside of main, we can use what is known as a for each loop. That's done with the squiggly braces once again. And this time we have a hash for each. And this time we want to do a for each over posts as we have access to this posts variable. When we want to end the for each, we do the squiggly braces again, but this time slash for each. You must make sure that there's actually no spaces between this one. Simply put no spaces at the end and at the front. So just to make things super simple, we'll just have a H1 and we'll bind to the title. So at this point in time, we are saying for each one of the posts, display the title. Hopefully you can see it's not too complex at this point. If we then refresh the page, you can see that we have currently three different posts. But why do we only have three? Well, that's because in our package.json, we said that our config should only have three posts per page. If we wanted to change this to be any more, we'd have to change this to, for example, be five. And we'd have to run ghost start and ghost stop because any changes to the package.json are only locked at at the start of ghost. So we're now able to display posts on screen, but I wanna look at the other posts. I know that there's more than three and we're showing three per page. So surely they must be aware to display a next button. Let's take a look at that in the next lecture.